Hello there and welcome back to my channel. It is of course only me again and thank you so much for tuning in for another round of metal detecting. So today's video promises to be a really exciting one. We are on a brand new permission today and we have got about 120 acres to play around with. Some of it's pasture, some of it's old plough, some of it's recently been drilled. But what's really exciting about this permission is it's surrounded by so much history. We've got Roman activity in the area, there's a 12th century church just across the road, and there's lots of interesting little features, bumps and rivets in these fields, which I think are gonna be really interesting for us to metal detect over. So historically, there has been Roman coins found on this permission. There was one silver Roman denarius found here all the way back in 2001. But of course, things have changed a lot since then, and we have obviously got much better detectors. So even if it has been detected before, I am still absolutely going to give this a good go. So if you want to see what I find today, then obviously stay tuned and continue to watch the video. But that leads me to say thank you all so much for watching. It really does mean a lot to me. And if you do like metal detecting videos and seeing nice shiny trinkets come out of the ground, then you know what to do. Just hit that subscribe button below. And if you like this video today and you want to help the channel out and help it grow, hit that thumbs up button as well. But that is the talking out of the way. Let's get some digging done. I'll see all of you on the very first hole. Well, it's early doors in this new field and we've probably been here for about sort of five to ten minutes, something like that. And I've already found my very first coin, but I don't think it's an incredibly old one, unfortunately. But um, it was quite deep, which is surprising considering this field has been ploughed for sort of the last four to five years, the farmer said. So I was expecting things to be relatively close to the top. Um, but this coin was probably easy about sort of five to six inches, which is actually quite deep for ploughed soil. But it just looks like a crusty old kind of Georgian coin. There's, yeah, not a lot of detail on here at all. And it's nothing incredibly old, but you know, this is probably from sort of the 17, maybe 1800s or something like that. So it's still a coin, it's still a few hundred years old. So I'm not gonna sniff at that for the very first target, but it's early days. Let's get some more digging done and I'll keep you posted. Well, I just had a real heart stopper here. So I got this target. It was coming up at about 80 to 81 and um, it was super, super loud. So I thought, okay, could be another coin. Dug the hole, nothing came out, put the pinpointer in, wasn't picking up anything. So I got the detector, ran it over the hole again and it was still there, super, super loud. So at that stage, I probably thought, you know what, this is gonna be something really big and really, really deep, but I've got to dig it out because, you know, curiosity killed the cat and I really wanted to know what this was. So I dug two more spades out. Now this hole is 10 inches, I would say, maybe even a little bit more. And what's just come out really, really was a heart stopper because it looked like a coin and it looked like a really, really old coin. But it's not. I actually think that this is a button. However, what's so strange about this is that it's not actually that big a target. And for me to be picking this up at that kind of volume, this deep under this ground is just phenomenal. I mean, honestly, this machine never ever fails to uh, surprise me. It was, yeah, I just couldn't believe it. it was just this small coin. Now I've tested the hole and there's definitely nothing else in this hole. So it was this thing, but um, I don't think it's a coin. I think it's a button. Um, and I think it was once a kind of uh, a bigger button than what it is now, but I think it's been squashed down and there's no information on it or anything like that. It really is just a little button, so it's nothing great. But um, yeah, if there's anything in this field that's deep, we're certainly going to find it today. So stay tuned. Well, it's not an incredibly old find on this one, unfortunately, but it's still a really nice one. 
What we've got here is a nice little early Victorian buckle. And it's very likely this is a dress buckle as well because it's just so small and dainty and ornate. Uh, but it's made of copper alloy and it was giving a lovely 73 signal on the target identification. It's just not mega old. So we've still got a bit of work to do if we're going to find a nice hot spot in this new permission. We've got so much ground to cover here that we could just be in the wrong place entirely. But really and truly, you kind of got to go everywhere on a new permission and just kind of see what is around because you never know what's going to happen. You could have been a battle down in the other field until you get there. You're obviously not going to know. So, yeah, we are underneath the hot sun again today, finding nice little copper alloy things. Let's just keep pushing on and see what happens. So we've just had a really interesting little find down here, but it's not a little one actually, it's quite a big find. It is circular, it is huge, and boy, did this almost blow my ears off. It was that loud. Um, it was probably only about three to four inches down, so that's probably why it's going to sound sort of so loud. But honestly, when I went over this thing, you could have mistaken it for a drain cover. It was that big, that loud, and just really overbearing. But I'm glad I dug it because it's a really interesting little thing. Now, at first I thought that this was just like a big one penny or something like that, but I have cleaned it up a little bit. And what's super, super interesting about this find is that it was once gilded. And that of course means that it was covered in gold. So it would have been washed in gold and it looks like it would have been washed in gold both sides as well which makes it probably not a button and i can't see anywhere on there where there would be a shank or anything like that so my guess is that this is very possibly maybe some sort of brooch maybe a victorian brooch something like that or it's possibly some sort of token or yeah I'm not really too sure, but as you can see, there is most certainly some sort of decoration on the front there, um, but the back does look quite blank. Um, definitely can't see any evidence of there ever being a shank on here. So yeah, it's a nice, interesting find, isn't it? Um, could be relatively old, maybe sort of 1700s or something like that, but I'll have to do a bit of research on this one and see if I can find out anything. But guys, what do you think this round object is? Is it a button? Is it a brooch? Let me know in the comments below because I would absolutely love to get all of your opinion on this find. So yeah, there's that one. Let's keep pushing on. Hopefully we get some more nice bits. Well, so it has been a long time since I have found one of these. And it's a coin, but it's a big coin a very chunky coin and of course it can only be one of two things this is either going to be a big old chunky roman coin but i don't think it is or it's going to be a big old cartwheel one pence and that is of course what it is it's a cartwheel one pence and uh yeah it's been so long since i've found one of these coins this was 94 on the target identification screen and boy once again did it almost blow my ears off but i'm glad it did because it made us stop to dig it out of the ground so a nice victorian cartwheel penny here um, dates to the very end of the 1700s so uh, a nice early one um, not in great condition but i've seen a lot worse so i'll definitely take this one home and yeah a lovely cartwheel one penny fantastic little finds well just when you think this field isn't going to produce anything super duper old it of course has done finally at last we've got something that looks relatively old and when i say relatively old i just mean sort of like more than the kind of victorian period and a little bit on so anything sort of pre-1700s 
is always a good sign of sort of ancient occupation or if not medieval occupation. So here it is, here is our little find. And uh, it is actually a tiny little lead farmer's token. But I have found a few of these before and these always come out looking like sort of Celtic staters or small Iron Age coins because they've just got these really crude little patterns on them and they're very, very small, which are very stereotypical of uh, Iron Age coinage as well. But the main giveaway for this one is that it's not made of silver or alloy or copper alloy. It is actually made of lead. So a lead alloy is never going to be anything Iron Age because, of course, you know, they didn't really have uh, abundance of lead back then. It was a very, very precious metal. Not like it is today. We find it strewn in fields absolutely everywhere. So let's have a look at this tiny little farmer's token. So as you can see, it's just got almost very similar to how a medieval coin would look. It's got a cross in the middle, but instead of there being three pellets in each quadrant, there's actually a small sort of triangle which meets the outer rim. Um, yeah, these are very, very interesting. Uh, nobody really knows whether or not these were used for gaming or whether or not they were just used as trade or temporary money. But they're really, really cool and they actually date to around the 1300s, something like that. So that's really interesting because what that probably means is that these fields were being farmed all the way back six, seven hundred years ago. So today we have found evidence of Victorian farmers, Georgian farmers, and now we've got medieval farmers as well. So these are really good little indicators to show you that you might find some really, really good things in the fields. Now I keep getting these really strange little round lead things and I must have had about seven or eight of them so far in this field. And I haven't been able to work out what they are at all. Um, and every time I pull them out, because they're blank on the other side, I think it's a coin or something like that. But then I clean it up, have a look at it, and they've all got this really strange round little dimple in the middle. Now I'm pretty sure this must have been used for something, but guys, what are these little things? I mean, as you can see, it's just round, a little bit flat in one corner, and then it has this round dimple here, almost like it was kind of housing something. But they've all been the same, and they are pretty much lead. I mean, I think they're lead. Um, oh, maybe this one isn't lead. I'm not too sure. I don't know. It's just weird. I've literally been finding these everywhere. It could even be some sort of uh, alloy, aluminium, something like that, because... I don't know, it's quite heavy, so I would expect this to be lead. But it's a really strange one. What do you guys think these are? Please hit me up in the comments below. I have absolutely no idea, but I would love to find out because there are so many of them in this field. So let me know what you think. <laughs> I honestly can't believe it. So. I've just decided that I would just walk down to the very bottom corner of this field and um, it's a little bit boggy down here and I did walk over to the other side a bit earlier on and I thought well it's still a little bit boggy so I thought well I can't, I'll stay at the top where we were finding more of those things but I thought I'll just come back down here into the other corner just to see what was here and I got a banging 82 on the target identification screen and what have we found? It's a hammered coin. <laughs> oh my goodness. Here's a big one too. This is a really, really big one. But it is very busted. Um, I mean, I literally cannot see any detail on this coin whatsoever. But it is a whopper, that's for sure. This is like sort of shilling size, something like that. So yeah, unfortunately, just no detail on this at all but it has to be a hammered coin. I mean, it surely it has to be. It's most certainly silver, 100%, but it's just got no detail, no writing, absolutely nothing left on this coin whatsoever. And um, I'm absolutely gutted <laughs> because this would have been an absolutely wonderful coin if it wasn't completely battered by the plow. I can only imagine this would have been 
you know, maybe like a James or a, an Elizabeth, but that really is just a totally wild guess at this stage. But it's still a silver hammered coin and the day has been saved by a shilling. So uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. Plus it means that there could very well be more down around this bottom area as well. So it's given us a whole new little area to search, but um, we haven't actually got that much time left today, unfortunately, but I'm certainly gonna give it a good old go. And of course, if we get any more amazing little finds like this, you're gonna see it right here first. So this field has got one more little surprise for us in store because another absolutely bang in 93 to 94 on the target identification and have a look at that. An absolutely huge copper alloy coin still in the plug and I think I know what this is going to be. It's another cartwheel penny. <laughs> no way, two in a day. So I have gone from finding absolutely none of these for absolutely ages to coming to a new permission and finding two of them in one day. What is the chances of that? But guys, these are the sorts of targets you're never going to miss. They're so big, they're so chunky, and honestly, these things will be picked up by absolutely anything at all. So. Yeah, I'm still really happy to find it. Cartwheel pennies are really, really nice. They're really, really special. Um, I think they're all dated to 1797 as well. So really dateable objects as to when people were in these fields. But yeah, another really nice find in the field. Happy days, happy days. Okay, now we are at the end of another day's metal detecting on this brand new permission. And to be honest, I have had a really, really good day in here. I haven't had a very long day today. It's been a relatively short hunt, but I really wanted to get in here and just have a little scout around some of the fields just to see what was here. Because of course, you never ever know until you get out and try it. And of course, as we all know, you've got to be in it to win it. We have had some really nice finds today. A lot of it is Victorian, which you know makes sense because a lot of the farms around here were probably heavily farmed during the Victorian period. So in the 1800s, and the finds that we've had today have certainly proved that as well. But it was really, really nice to get a nice little farmer's token from the medieval period and the shilling. The shilling saved the day. Um, I assume it's a shilling. It's a huge piece of silver. I am just happy to find something like that. You know, I don't care whether it's got anything on it. Obviously, it would be nice to have some stuff on it, but that one didn't. And that's just the luck that we had today. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. There's going to be so many more videos coming up, lots of new permissions, exciting permissions coming up. So stay tuned if you like metal detecting videos. But as again, guys, please do give this one a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. And I will see all of you on the very next hunt.